Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few really nice things to share this week. So first of all, I just picked up these ribbons. I've already started to use this one here. Now I've seen people use these last year in videos that I've watched a lot on like gift wrapping. I like watching how people wrap presents and I get a lot of inspiration from that. And there was a lady that actually, I remember her using this one, or was it that one with the glitter? And um, she wrapped some beautiful presents using it. And then I was in biology and um, they had all of this out and I just thought these are really nice and they were 99p and you get 2.7 meters on each roll and they're gorgeous really lovely scenes you can see this one here just says Merry Christmas and then that one there has the red truck with the tree and then it's the same one again there but this time it's got the glitter and the Merry Christmas I just thought they were really nice and they're all wired as well so if you like to make big bows and things like that but I will be using these to actually wrap presents so they won't really be in tutorials but they will be um, I'm probably going to go and get some more I wouldn't mind getting a plain red plain white and maybe another one of this one so I have already used that for something else so yeah really nice and then I popped to Lidl now they have a few quite nice craft pieces in there actually at the moment and they had the cardstock back in again so this is the A3 cardstock, 270 GSM however I swear it's more towards 300 because it's just wonderful cardstock and I've used it in many many projects I've shared it in other what did I get videos in the past it's just really nice and for 199 for A3 you do only get one of each colour but it's, it's such a nice card it really is lovely it doesn't crack it's colour cool the colours are really nice as well you just get such a nice selection and there's a really lovely Christmas red well both of those are nice but this one here it's just got a real nice and then it goes into more of an orange and then yellow and there. So yeah, so I picked up five. <laughs> so um, I just, I wished I brought more last time. I only got three last time. And um, yeah, when it's in, grab it. And I know so many of you love this cardstock as well. So no doubt a few of you will be off to Lidl tomorrow <laughs> or at least over the weekend anyway to get some more. So yeah, I grabbed those. So what I will do now is I will pull them all out and group all of the reds you know all of the same colors together so I've got five of every one and then I thought to myself I should have really got six and then I've got an equal number because if I did need two for a project I'm going to be left with one but it's fine I'm sure uh, <laughs> I'm sure I can live with that and then I got the simply made crafts this is the hexagon clutch box die set I have seen this one this one's been out quite a while I think and then or it's it's not a new it's not the part of the new release and then here I've got the backpack gift bag die set so it'd be interesting to see what that one looks like because I've made a, a backpack on my channel so um, this is quite sweet it's got a little passport and then you've got those lovely sentiments as well let me just let's have a little look inside you can see on the back here it gives you the two options so you can have the passport with the pocket on the front or you can have the buckle effect and then it tells you how to create the buckle in those elements. So let's just see, because these ones here, yeah, so you'll need an A4 die cutting machine because the main base there, you can see how big the die is. But you always get a load of dies. That's one thing I have noticed with Helen's collection. Yeah, you get 27 dies in this one. So yeah, if you're someone that likes to create with dies, you know, to make your box shapes, then um, check out Helen's collection because she has heaps over there. So we've got so we've got these bits here. So that looks like yeah. So that's this is the one of the sides. So that's the front and side, and then you die cut it again, and that would be the back and the side, for example. And then this here is a flap, so I can see that would be the front piece. And then you have these bits here that will sit in here to give you your different decorative flap. So you've got that one, which is this pattern here. That one there or you've got that one which will go in as well yes yeah, so that gives you that nice effect and they're great to use on other designs as well you know on other projects you don't have to just use them in here that's a nice plate you could put that on a card imagine yeah so five and a quarter so that would make a nice like base of a card or something so that's those and then you've got all the elements to it so if I keep that in here because you can see you've got your straps You've got this detail here, which is quite sweet. So where have they put that on? Oh, so that's these pieces here. So it's your front straps. And then where's the passport? This is the little passport. That's cute. It's even got the chip detail because the newer passports, you have a chip on them. And then you've got what's these bits here. Oh, this is a notepad. So you've got a notepad and there's your pencil. 
And then there's a pocket. I mean, that's a great pocket to use on a card. So I've made those um, shirt cards in the past. That pocket would look great on them. So again, you know, you can use a lot of this. And again, the buckle, well, wow, that's going to be great for Father Christmas's buckle, for example. So you'll probably see that pop in a few other tutorials. So you can use the dies, you know, so many other ways. And then all of these sentiments are just great on your cards anyway. Adventure, great for scrapbooking as well. Mini albums, which um, there are a lot of within the Simply Made Crafts range. So nice um, collection there. So I'm just going to pop all that back in. And then let's just have a quick look inside this one. So this one doesn't give you any pictures on the back, but this is, like I said, an older one. So I think maybe that is the newer way that they're doing it by showing you parts on the back. This one's got 19 dies. Now I have seen a few of these on some uh, Facebook pages and Helen herself, I think, has done a tutorial. So I will share one when I've put it all together, but that will create your... So again, you die cut two of these and then put them together. That one there again, let me... Yeah, you're going to need an A4 machine. I've just tried it on my mini Gemini and it won't go through. And then again, you have all the pieces that you can see will sit in here. So there's your mats and your layers. And, and then again, that's another one. Oh yes, you've got quite a few mats and layers there, so that will look nice. And then again, that's your flaps that will come down over. You can see how they all layer up. And again, another one. And then you've got your handle. And then you've got the flowers. That there is... That is to do with the closure. And then this one here. Again, this is really handy to use on, you know, any of your other 3D crafts, you know, gift bags, things like that, because it's a, a faux-looking buckle. So you die-cut that in silver or gold or any kind of metal-coloured cardstock, and it will look like a, a little um, fastening. Yeah, that's that one there in a bit more detail and that's another piece oh okay so you can have it with the rivets or without or I guess that layers up on top of it as well so I have to have a play around but I will share a tutorial of that one and um, yeah I think it's going to look really sweet and then I received some lovely product from Craft Stash so you would have seen I'm just checking that I've got my the, this morning, obviously I'm not filming this on the day that I put it out, so this morning you would have seen a video of the Apple Blossom new release. So that was some other product that I got from Craft Stash. So that was in a separate video because I had some lovely samples to show with that. But then I've received this wonderful Bright Rosa release. Now you know I just love Bright Rosa. If you see this pink stuff come through your door, you know you're going to be happy. I've been using the Bright Rosa product now for a good few months and I've made some amazing cards and just other projects it's such lovely quality and the just the way that Paula who designs all of this her I love her style it's just really really nice so I'm going to talk you through this now I have already started to do some samples but I want to wait until I've done the tutorial for them and then I'll share the tutorial showing you that way so I'm just showing you now because this stuff does sell out really quickly actually so um yeah I thought I would share it now because I know I think it's all going on her chanda towards the end of the month. So, and that's what I'm making some samples for. So first of all, I've got these stamps, and I've never had any Bright Rosa stamps, so it's nice to have these ones. So you've got birthday words and birthday wishes. The one I love in the birthday, in the beautiful words, is here it says, be weird, be random, be who you are, C.S. Lewis, and that is me. I am that per I am weird, <laughs> and I can be very random, but that's how I am. You take it, you know, or you leave it. So I really like that stamp and I think lots of my friends will like that one as well. Here it's got she believed she could so she did and this one just says loyal, funny, smart, kind. Really nice positive little sentiments there. You brighten my day and then you've got happy birthday just for you and you've got all the different fonts and you can mix and match and all that kind of lovely stuff and you can mix these perfectly with the dies which is what I like. And then this one here it has love, birthday, love this kind of the stroke the way it kind of starts and then ends like that it's really nice. Sending, anniversary, sparkling, dazzling, very happy. There's all sorts there. So they'd be nice to, like I said, sit with the dies. So moving on to the dies, because this is what I'm really excited about. So we have new words, which I'm so pleased about. When I saw these, I was like, ah. So I've got them on the magnetic strip because I just wanted to show you the packaging for the, for the video and then I'll just file these away. So first of all, you've got sweet words. So here you've got home, sweet, memories and dream. 
and you can either cut them separately so they cut into the cardstock or if you want them as a separate piece and you can cut them with the frame and that will cut it out as a whole piece and then on the back you will have create I love the separate A, I think that's a really nice touch. Sweet, make, loving and new. So you can see how they all work together. But the great thing is, is for anybody that hasn't seen her older words, I've got my other collection here and you have these two. So there is also Bright Rose's sentiment words and birthday words. So you can see how they are there. And what I've noticed here is that in the old packs, you've got three and then you've got your shadow um, words, but here you get four plus your shadow words. So it's actually increased. You actually, I think you get more for your money now, but these are the other ones. And you've seen me use these so many times. I use them lots and I use them off, you know, off video as well when I'm making other commission pieces and things for friends and stuff like that. So they just come in so handy. So that's those ones, but um, this is, yeah, the sweet words and this is the friend words. So here you get lovely, beautiful family and friend and then four special hello and friend. And then this A has that lovely, oh, sorry, you can't even see, there you go. Has that really nice brush stroke. And it's here, you can see, you can have it separate or again with the shape. So love them, love the big hello, friend, special and that says four, but they all mix together. So you can really play around and make up some really lovely little quotes and sayings and things like that. So yeah, you're gonna see these featuring in um, future tutorials, can't wait to use those. So yeah, sweet words and friend words. Then I'm gonna do these ones here. So this is the, so I've put two of them onto one piece here because I would use them all together. So you've got the foliage, foliage sprigs and foliage, foliage twigs. And I love all this kind of stuff. I love the sprigs and twigs. And this one I thought is now gonna work really well with the fern one that she done. And that is, let me just show you this one here, the fern border. I love that. I've used that so many times. And to be able to mix them all together, I think it's gonna look really nice. But just look how big that one there is, which is this one here. And if you die cut it and then die cut it in like a, and maybe a dark green then die cut it in a lighter green for the leaves and then die cut you know like a pink or something for like the berries but you could certainly make that Christmassy now I could do real nice darker greens and then red for like berries so I'm going to try and incorporate that into some projects this year and then you've got these lovely ones here which you can see and you can see how they're going to work because it's actually very similar to this smaller one here which I've used a lot I used it in some of my underwater cards because I thought it does it does look like seaweed it's got a really nice shape about it so to have the even bigger one there you can really build up a nice scene and this one here almost looks like one of those ones that you could roll I imagine you know that would be something that I could maybe try and see if that creates something but um, for me I think you can never have too many of these things I love creating just fun scenes so yeah I'm really really looking forward to them I think you're going to really like some of the samples as well that I'm doing like I said I will be sharing these in tutorials um, in due course so yeah that was the like I said older one I think this is still available and this is the fern border I love this one I've made some really nice cards with that and there's some great techniques you can do with the borders and things like that on them so yeah that's your foliage twigs and sprigs then we've got this one here which is a diamond panel now, I've already got an idea for this one, and um, I, again, will be sharing that in a tutorial. It's just got a really nice shape about it, you can see there. Um, it, it's, it's great for creating quick, instant cards, but um, you can, you know, make some beautiful um, effects with this die as well. So that's what I'll be showing. And this one measures, so it will fit on a five by, yeah, it's just, a, yeah, it'd be for a five by seven card, but you can have that, you know, cut it directly into the cardstock and make that your card base. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd stick this onto a five by seven card. I think I would use the frame to actually make the five by seven card. And um, yeah, really, really nice, like that one. Right, then we're on to the big dies and these are beautiful. So I know quite a few of you have brought the band dies that Bright Rosa does. And this is just amazing. This is a sunflower band, but what you get in this is, is I think really impressive. So there's 16 dies. So there is the band, okay. And then these are all the pieces, but look how big this sunflower is. Oh, I can't wait to make this. And you've got, so you've got your, the detail. You've got the, you know, this one will go on top of here. And then you've got that one to go inside and you can lift it all up. 
and then you've got a smaller band which I think is so sweet that's going to look lovely on cards but you can build that up with this as well there's just so many layers to it and look at this this one here cuts all this like the stamen the real kind of detail in the center and then like I say just layer it up there's another one that's obviously to go with the smaller one but you can certainly build this up on one flower and then you've got these pieces here which I need to look into um, because I'm not 100% sure what the intention is for them I would you know I've got ideas on what I would do with them but I need to check exactly what those are for but again I will show you this in a tutorial and then you have more pieces there for the center it's so nice I love big dies they just really make an impact I think on your projects and um, yeah I can't wait to use these and show some um, some fun tutorials I think you're gonna like them and like I said if you do have the the other ones that she's done these are the other butterfly band heart band and the flower band I've used these a lot you've seen these feature and you get so many pieces to them and this one here is like a snowflake so you know you can use them for other things as well there's the heart and then the butterfly I love that butterfly I've used that loads that's the one I've used the most actually so to have the sunflower I think it's really really nice and then also they've got I imagine they're going to do some of these as bundles but they do have the sunflower border so this one here just has all of these pieces great on cards you know you can do some nice actual card shapes with these as well and you've just got so much to layer up so I'm gonna these I think are gonna look really nice using the flower foam and um, yeah have some fun with it so yeah I haven't got a magnetic sheet I need to order some more because I don't know will that fit on the normal one no it's slightly bigger so I need to um, yeah I need to sort out some bigger sheets to store these ones away and I've got this one here which is a flower panel die so this one again you can create your card base with it you can actually create quite a few shapes so you can have obviously a standard square card but you can easily have it as a circle card so you'd cut that out and that would be your base and then you've got the detail there that would make a really nice kind of shaker design I think got so many fun ideas to do with these you can see there just there's the you know like the the order you know that you have them you can do so many different designs and these here are to go around the corners like so and then you'll see how that would then sit within the square but you can see how they you could just have the corners just have that you can have that without the without that one there or you can have everything together there's just yeah it's nice and these are great just handy to have on their own but I love that so much detail in that one's really really nice and that's what I like about the designs is just it's just a different kind of detail you know these dies are like nothing else that I've got you know they're completely unique which is why I love them so much so yeah that's the flower panel and then the two largest ones this one here is the biggest I think I've ever received from Bright Rosa this has 22 dies in it and this is the diamond card so this gives you a, a actual die to create an awesome it's such a beautiful card shape and Paola done a beautiful demo on last Friday's craft stash live so you know head over and check that out because there's always heaps of inspiration there but look at all of this and look at this card oh it's so nice when I saw it cut I thought oh my god that's amazing so it's a five by seven so that's the back this is the front and you can just see all the detail and you might if you've got this you'll recognize these flowers and they are from this one here which is the flower border so I reckon you could probably mix and match some of these I can't see why you couldn't so I think that's nice that you can bring in your older dies and they will work they're definitely gonna match up so yeah I think that's a really nice touch I like that a lot so you have that but then you've got so many other pieces to do all sorts with I mean they all work together but you've got you could do a lovely diamond card there and then you've got this one which cuts again that's going to cut into the cardstock yeah so that will cut your detail and then if you want to have it as a separate piece then you'd cut it with the frame but then you can have this design if you want so again that one could cut into it or you can cut it out so you've got two options there then you've got these which are going to be great to use with your stamps because they obviously will give you a nice frame you've got all these triangles which will cut Gosh, I need to get these all laid out properly so I know what's what but that will go into that shape 
and then you've got that one there so you can see all these different corners and then that one can go in that one or that one in that one and then you've got the smaller triangles to layer up you've got these shapes here there's just so much to it and that's what I really enjoy so I'm looking forward again well actually I've already started playing with this one a little bit so it is beautiful it's really nice I just love that there's endless possibilities with it so yeah 22 dies in that one and it's stunning okay so that's the diamond card and then the last yeah last one is this one which is another band and this is the circle band and again it's gorgeous it's kind of got I guess smaller elements of the sun of the sunflower so here we have the big band I mean you can use that to do so many things that's just you know on its own that's a great die and then you have your choice of again you've got that border so that would go in there then you've got that one so you can have oh so that's attached in there but it does cut away so they just you just have to um just carefully take that off actually i'll do that now so remember there you go just pops out and there's a little bit there let me just get rid of that so i remember there we go and it's not left anything sharp so that's good so yeah so you've got that beautiful detail and you can use that on its own and just you know have a nice topper on a card or even have that as a card shape as well but then if you sit it all inside you can see how everything lays together but then you can like bring this out again and you can add these corners so again it gives you another style card so you could have like those and you've got smaller ones there you've got smaller again which will layer up on top and you've got the detail then as well so it will cut this detail in which you can see it gives you here and here and then this is nice this is a lovely very thin but you i've got some very small stamps that's like a to try and cut that on your trimmer you can do it but even to get the little flag tail on the end that's a really handy um die and you've got it in the slightly shorter one there as well but then you've got these pieces so there's more detail so they can go on the side bits there oh i see they will go into the actual um the, the belly band of this piece and then you've got detail there so you can see how that sits in there to give you detail so much thought's been put in like every space has kind of been thought out and then you have the two pieces there so again i'll take that one out because then you know that you don't have to have them in there but that will give you to stamp i know that it's obviously going to work well with these you can see it's going to fit over so many of these and um, then you've got that nice little tag and then you've got more pieces so they go inside each other and then there's detail for that as well and then these are extra pieces again i'll need to check out some videos that paula's done just so i can see how she you know she's designed them to be used and then i can kind of see from there what i want to do with them but i think those will cut and they will go over the top of this these ones here so again if you do that in like a metal or create a really nice kind of um little plaque kind of feature but yeah it's lovely i do really like the band dies i just think there's there's so much you can do with them you know some dies that you get and you can only really do one thing but with this there's just endless possibilities and hopefully i'll be able to share a lot of them with you so pop all that one away okay so that's everything so i've got lots to crack on with i will share the samples that i make and the tutorials they will be coming shortly probably be using this card stock as well because I do I absolutely love it so it's always nice to have and I can just add it to the rest because there are some colours in this that obviously you do never use as much as others so I have like the greys for example although I did use a bit at um, Halloween and brown so I've probably got more of those than I have others but the greens I mean they're going to look lovely cut with these sprigs and twigs so yeah and then um yeah i'll be having some nice wrapped Christmas presents with that ribbon as well so I will link everything below I'm not sure, there are a couple of Amazon shops that I have seen this being sold, but you do have to go to Lidl if not, so um, I'll have a look and um, yeah, I might be able to link some of that ribbon as well. So thank you for watching as always, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.